Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 15th, 2019, that's 2019, love reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude, so I want to thank you so very much, whether you're new or old to this channel, for tuning in and stopping by. It's an absolute pleasure having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. It will also have a link to all the cards that I use. So let's see now Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what September 1st to the 15th, 2019 has in store for you for love. Libra, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, love. Libra, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, love. Libra. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Libra, we have the Queen of Wands. That is a fire sign energy in Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. This is also passion. This is new dawns, new days, being in tune with what it is that you want. You know, passionately, personally, on this earthly plane, as you're moving forward, there's a lot of passion at the heart of it. You're crowned by you. You are represented by the Justice card in the Major Arcana. You are represented by the Swords in the Minor Arcana. This is justice coming in, but this is also the essence of yourself coming forward and there being justice within your life when it comes to love, when it comes to passion. And there's you as the King of Swords. You are astoundingly strong during the first half of September and this is actually going to make you very attractive to people. Fire sign and water signs, most definitely. If you don't like fire signs and water signs, you know, first of all, don't count anybody out just because of their sign. But it can be somebody who's very in tune to their emotions and very passionate. You're leaving something behind that isn't right. It doesn't work for you. It isn't right for you. And now you're moving forward. Okay? You're moving forward with knowledge, you're moving forward with understanding, and at times it's going to be absolutely terrifying. It can be the start of a new relationship, it can be, you know a myriad of things that we'll get into later, but it's also a sense of you being on this journey, knowing what it is that you want. You have a Capricorn energy right here, but there's also a letting go of addictions, a letting go of negativity. This is a time frame of December 22nd to January 19th. This is, there's a shift that's going to be happening during that time for you. The Libra time frame, which is your time frame, is September 23rd to October 22nd, just to let you know battered and bruised, okay? You're going to have a tendency during the first half of September to listen to everybody else's words instead of your own, and that's going to be one of the main mistakes we make. I'm not sitting here trying to point figure, fingers or make you feel upset, but just be careful of listening to everybody else's opinion when it comes to love. You know, your, your girlfriends, your guy friends saying whatever, and you not listening to yourself, okay? Because there's something here where it's just kind of like enough is enough. It can also be that people are telling you something, you don't want to hear it, and you keep on following a pattern. For some of you Libras, this is going to be it. Because you, you want things to work out like they do for other people. But you're not like other people. Okay? There's a balance that you need within relationships. There's a serenity that you need within relationships that is astoundingly important to you. You're also an air sign energy. You love love. Everything is changing. Everything is changing. This is a powerful line right here. You're having an awakening, awakening towards your passion, towards what it is that you really want. And it can be for some of you, you listened more to what your partner wanted than what you wanted. And now you're really starting to listen to you when it comes to love, when it comes to where it is that you want to be. And this is a soulmate connection. And I know I say in my videos, I don't like the words soulmate because I believe your soul is complete in and of itself. But it has 
such a lovely connotation to so many people that it feels like it should be used right now. This is a true love connection. This is a connection with what it is that you want and where it is that you want to be within your life. But this is a coming together of passion, which, you know, it can be for some of you Libras that you had a partner who really didn't respect your passion, didn't ex respect what was important to you. And now you're finding somebody who does. And it's been a journey. And that journey now is so beautiful that it's, it's coming to this beautiful kind of opening, this beautiful, beautiful kind of release within yourself. All right? You feel like you're on a roller coaster ride. You really do. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Your highs, your lows, your lefts, your rights. You're like, oh my gosh. How is it that I'm going to move forward? Where is it that I'm going to be? I love that you have 10 and 11. So you're really coming into your power, coming into what it is that you want. You have that beautiful progression. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Libra, love, September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Libra, love, September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Passion, that's it. There's a lot of passion here. And healing, yeah. There's a lot of healing that's also going on. Because either somebody... Okay, this may not resonate for everyone, but somebody made you feel ashamed of you. It could be body shaming. It could have been, you know, just you weren't ready for something. They pushed you too far. It, it was something that somebody made you feel ashamed of, okay? And now you're healing from that, and you're embracing the passion that you want. You're embracing the love that you want in your life, and it's no longer about them. It's about you. And that's something that's really big for you, Libra. It really is. I'm seeing this as a shift in the way you view love, in the way you, you embrace love, and it is really healing you and moving you forward. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Libra, September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Libra, love. September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Libra, love. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Nurturing, nurturing your inner child. And prosperity, oh, it brings you bounty. Like, you can't believe, you're actually going to be surprised by it. All right, so we start off with nurturing. And this says, nurturing your inner child supplies you with an innocent joy of living. All right, so many times, we as human beings, especially as adults, we take that inner child and we say, you know, just shut up and sit down. Yes, you were hurt. Yes, there was pain. Yes, there was discomfort in your life. But everybody goes through it. It wasn't as bad as, you know, whomever else. You weren't starving. You weren't this. You weren't that. You get worst case scenarios. And you say, you weren't that, so just stop. Stop being upset. Or other people go the other way, and they can't leave the pain of childhood behind. It was like I was so hurt then, and that hurt just perpetuates throughout my whole entire life. Either way, whether you're the type of person who told your inner child, you know, to kind of buck up, or you're the person who said to your inner child, cry as much as you want, for as long as you want, and just keep on crying. Now you're going to be that person who's the comfort, who's the, who's the person who says, you know what, what we went through, well, wasn't fair. The pains of childhood and the pain that you experience as a child, it isn't fair because it's all brand new, all right? It's all brand new. It's all overwhelming. And now you're saying to yourself, it's okay to be upset. It's okay to be hurt, but now we're healing from it, and we're moving ourselves forward. The color that shines through here is green. That's healing and cleansing the heart chakra. It's going to be highly beneficial for you, highly beneficial. Then we have prosperity. Know that you deserve all things wondrous and believe that you can have them. Because there's something here. There's something from the pain, okay, from the past. It can also be from the present. It can be things that repeat and you're like, why this has always happened to me? Why do I always get into these situations? Why do I always attract these type of people? There is a healing now that's happening that's going to lead you to prosperity, that's going to lead you to, pro to bounty. It says, know that you deserve all things wondrous and believe that you can have them, right? Know that you deserve the very best in life, the very best in life and the very best from love and believe that you can have it within yourself, body, mind, and spirit. The color that shines through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing your sacral chakra, which is going to set you free from a lot of pains and hurts that you've been carrying from this life and past lives. Then we have passion. 
okay, which is at the heart of this whole entire reading. Passion is an inner flame that will keep you striving towards your vision. There's something that you want and you know it. You know you deserve it. You know that it's part of your life. You know that it's part of your love. And you are moving towards that passion, that beauty. And that's what the fairies are saying. Like, don't give up on that. The fairy guidance card is saying, don't give up on that. Healing. A healthy body thrives with a constant flow of balanced energy. Right? Embracing, embracing serenity within your soul and self. Feeling in harmony with yourself. Healing and letting things go. That's going to be so beneficial for you. At the heart of this reading, the Queen of Wands and the Judgment card. The Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're also having an awakening. So it's about your passion. It's about what it is that you want. You can't have an awakening around a Fire Sign energy for some of you. But for others of you, you're embracing a new dawn, a new day. There's mysteries that you're taking in. You have, this, you have a kingly energy to you. But you also have this queen at your heart that's making you the director, that's making you the person who's behind the scenes, who's saying, okay, I know what it is that I want. I don't want everybody looking at me all the time. I don't want to be the actor on the stage all the time. In your heart, you're going to be a lot more... It's not calculating because that sounds bad, but you're going to plan things, and you're going to like to have plans, especially during these 15 days. It's going to make you feel comforted, Okay. So when you're going out with somebody, when you're doing something, it doesn't matter if you have a partner now or if you're meeting somebody new, having a plan is going to make you feel better. You're also answering this inner call with the judgment card. So you're answering this inner call, you are expressing your inner self, and you're finding new hidden facets, facets, avenues, we'll go with avenues, of yourself that you hadn't embraced before. All right? Or that you've kind of put away and said, oh, that's silly. I couldn't possibly want this. I couldn't possibly want that. But now you're having an awakening. You're having the sense of what it is that you truly want, how it is that you truly want to move forward. And as you do that, you are mentally, it can be physically also, but mentally at your root, you are leaving something behind. It doesn't fit. You take, you've taken what's really important to you. Now you're moving forward and the angels are guiding you. But you have to leave behind something old. It's kind of like an old way of being, an old way of living, an old way of, of having things in your life, okay, or having people in your life, or understanding what they're saying. There's, there's something here where you're like, okay, enough is enough. I'm embracing what I want, I'm embracing where it is that I want to be, and now I'm taking control. And by you taking control, by you saying, okay, I'm changing this game, actually say I'm letting the angels take control. You're going to let the divine kind of guide you in love. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that you have to go and join a church group or a religious group, you know, your synagogue or, you know, anything like that, your temple. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter if you go to find somebody who has, you know, a religious base as yours or whether you go and just start hanging out places and just start being around people who are like-minded, okay? You are going to be moving forward. And when I say the angels take the wheel, that's why I'm saying here, you don't have to go to someplace religious. It's just going to be as if, it's going to be that you're divinely guided. And it's going to be as if there's somebody else guiding you saying, okay, why don't you go into that shop? Why don't you, you know, talk to that person? Why don't you, you know, and just go with it. Go with it. You have nothing to lose. Okay. Don't go and talk to, you know, people who you get a bad vibe from or go into shops that look really sketchy, but move forward, move forward because there's some sort of change here that's coming and there's a beautiful true love connection that's leading you forward, that's leading you to the place that you want to be. You're going through a transformation. I mean, we have the king and queen of wands right here at your heart and at your base. And the king of wands is all about embracing your passion, knowing what it is that you want. You are going to be seen. So do know that you might be getting a little bit more attention than you're comfortable with, Libra, because at your heart, you want to kind of be that quiet person, but to the rest of the world, you're going to be kind of dancing on tabletops. You know, you, they're really going to be paying attention to you. So here, there's that sense of that power coming in. And here, there's a sense of a mystery coming together with new beginnings and with courage. And that's going to be the energy that really leads you forward, right? The person that you're going to be attracted to has like interest, has like passions. Passion is the heart of this whole entire reading, okay? Passion ideas, the way that you want to move forward, 
You have justice right here. You're cutting through doubts and fears. You're embracing the essence of you. You're finding your balance and everything is changing because here, it's so funny because you're finding your balance and yet you feel as if things are a crazy roller coaster ride. And they can be both. They can be you're finding your balance within chaos. You're finding your balance within an understanding of yourself that you haven't had before. You're finding your balance by cutting through negativity, by letting go of tides and ties that were just not good for you. Staying in relationships too long, connecting with negative people who brought you down and who kind of sucked away your happiness. Because here, you have the King of Swords. This is you in the Minor Arcana. So you go, if we're going clockwise, okay? You go from the essence of you to how people see you. That's how I say it, all right? With the King of Swords. People are going to see you as powerful. People are going to see you as cutting through doubts and fears. People are going to see you as claiming your truth, all right? So there's a sense here of being crowned by battles, of knowing that love is hard and life is hard, and you've been through hard times, most definitely. You're cutting through doubts and fears. You are guarding the seed of your soul. So it's not going to be extremely easy for people to get to know you, all right? But it's not going to be hard either. You're not going to have this wall that, you know, just people cannot get through. Know your mind, know yourself, and do not let anybody take away that power from you. Then we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups, water sign energy. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. As you move forward, emotions are going to be running high. I see a strong connection here with a fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, there, in this serpent's line right here, okay, we have a Capricorn, we have fire signs, two of them, you know, not two of them, but we have an amplifying of the fire signs because you have both the, the king and the queen, and then you have water signs. So this is going to be somebody who is very grounded, money-oriented at times. That can, be, that can be a bit overwhelming for you. If they get into a negative headspace, they can be too money-oriented, or you've dealt with somebody who's too money-oriented, something like that, or too work-oriented. It's just kind of like it's, it's one way. Here, with the, king, with the Queen of Wands, there's passion that's being embraced. There's a coming together of what you desire, of where it is that you want to be. All right, so you two are going to have tremendous chemistry. The chemistry is just real here. And then there's a calming down of love. Okay, it's not a calming down of love, but there's a calming of emotions because everything's just going to kind of explode and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? You need to calm it, you need to center it, and then you guys move forward. You guys move forward in a healing, in an understanding. There can be, okay, there can also be A bit of a love triangle here for some of you, okay? And you're done with the person who does emotional manipulation. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this person is emotionally manipulative and you're done with them. You really are. So there's somebody here who plays off your emotions who makes you feel guilty, mainly over money. You're having this awakening of passion of what you want because this person also makes you feel bad about what you want, of how you want to move forward. This can be a very specific message for a very specific person. And now you're done. Okay? You meet somebody else who makes you feel happy. And it can be that you're not even going to be in a relationship with that other person, but you start to realize that, wow, I can be happy again. I can be happy. Like, happiness is allowed within my life. And you start to break free. Because here, there is a healing. There is an embrace of compassion. Compassion for yourself. The person with whom you're supposed to be with is compassionate, understanding, caring, healing. You move forward. You break the chains of addiction. Of being... Some of you are in an addictive relationship. I'm just going to be really honest with you. There's a sense of of being manipulated, manipulated, of being controlled, all right, of the person, it can be that they're, you know, because this also warns against substance abuse, all right, so it can be that substances are involved, and now you, you need to make a decision, how it is that you want to move forward, 
Because with this person, when it's good, it's really good. When it's bad, it's really bad. It's really bad, Libra. So you, you try to keep the balance. You try to keep the peace. You can't anymore. That's why you're moving forward. Okay, because you can't. There's, there's no balance in somebody who's unstable. You can't force balance onto them. You can't force reason onto them. So with the, with the devil card, you are breaking yourself free. With the horned one, you're finding your understanding. You are embracing your desire, where it is that you want to be, how it is that you want to move forward. You're connecting with your divine self. You have the angels fiercely guarding you. You have light coming in through the darkness, and you are moving forward. For those of you who are in a love triangle, okay, there, there's true love right here. Does that mean you get the person that you want to be with? There means that somebody is coming along that you're just, you're just drawn to, okay? It can be now, it can be down the road. We're doing the first half of September, but there's somebody here that you're completely drawn to, and you're done feeling as if you need to explain yourself to anybody else, right? This is a person who gets you, who cares about you, who understands you. For some of you, again, you're in a relationship, and people have been telling you, you know, this is not a good person for you. This is not where you want to be, and they've kind of backed off, and you feel battered and bruised, some of you feel better than Bruce because people are talking to you, and some of you feel better than Bruce because the communication isn't there, and you need that balance. All right? For those of you in a relationship right now that is healthy and harmonious, okay, the passion is going to be real, and you're going to have a part of you that's awakening to what it is that you truly want, and you're changing the game. Nine of Wands, you are done listening to everybody else. You are also done with silence. Okay? So it's, it's really saying that no matter how much anybody screams at you, you have to do this, you have to do that. If you don't want to, you're not going to. And that's just true for everyone. You're also done with the silence. The silence of feeling battered and bruised and thinking, okay, I'm just going to go stand off by myself with a headache, with my body aching me because I have so much stress. And I'm just going to endure and then go back and start it all over again. This is saying, stop a pattern. There is some sort of pattern that you go through in relationships, Libra, for some of you. For, it can't even be if you're in a really good relationship. It can be that you get too much in your own head. It can be that you try to keep up with everybody else, and then that puts a strain on things. You're stopping. You're stopping because everything is changing. There's an awakening happening. And this transformation is bringing passion and, and bounty and beauty into your life. Yeah. Your subconscious message, Knight of Swords. That's you. You're charging forward. Subconsciously, you know that there is a change coming. There, you know there is a way that you're moving forward. And you're simply going after it. Nothing and no one can stop you or will stop you. Because you are determined to live your best life and to go after what it is that you want. It's also kind of a white knight energy. And I love it because I'm seeing it here as you, you saving yourself. Yes, there's somebody there with you. Yes, you are absolutely enjoying your life and, and feeling in harmony, but you did this. You pulled yourself through, and that is something that's absolutely spectacular. All right, Libra, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. Bye.